The Stockton Darlington Railway meant more in 1825 than we can possibly imagine now. It kind of draws in everything that's been happening at different places at different times all around. It kind of hits the zeitgeist, if you like. When the steam engine comes, it's making a noise like nothing on earth. There are cinders and sparks and smoke coming out of the top of it. They were also worried about what travelling at the ridiculously fast speed of 10, 15 miles an hour would actually do to your body. I mean, could it make your eyeballs pop out as you whizzed along at 12 miles an hour? It must have looked like the devil himself come to claim some of the locals. Yes, locomotives had been developing elsewhere. Yes, railways had been used just to take coal from the coal face to the river for subsequent transportation elsewhere. But what happens here is all the technology is pulled together in one place where they're learning the hard lessons of actually running a substantial sized railway which consists of a 26 mile long main line plus branch lines. So again, you've got the beginning of a network that's going to extend not just over the country, but the world. And it starts here. Whether you are interested in the locomotives, whether you're interested in the business, the machinations, the politics of how this came to be, because there's some amazing relationships made and broken with the creation of the Stockton Darlington Railway, or whether you're interested in what the railway means in terms of culture and landscape, the Stockton Darlington Railway transcends all these specialities and brings them together. And there's something that excites me in every, every part of that.